Well, my first Pentecost as a priest is in the books. Well, not completely in the books. We still have a few hours left, of course. Uh, it's a little bit different than what we all imagined it would be several weeks ago, several months ago, I should say. Uh, but today has been been so blessed. You know, the Holy Spirit, you know, as we remember the descent of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, His presence has been so felt uh, today in these, these last few days. You know, in our own diocese, as we prepare to resume public masses, the support of the people, uh, the encouragement of the people and the understanding of the people has just been absolutely amazing because you know it's gonna be it's gonna be an adjustment at first you know we're not just gonna jump right in and completely return to how we were doing things before you know for a while masses will be limited to a certain number of people and we have to take certain precautions uh, but really the the spirit has been been guiding us you know in these these last days and weeks as we we prepare for this it's been truly truly amazing and you know other ways that we've seen the spirit oh yesterday seeing two men launched from the florida coast towards the international space station once again uh is i mean, i was tearing up honestly as i was watching it you know, for the first time in nine years, our nation has sent two people from our soil to the International Space Station, has launched people from our soil. Truly an amazing feat. Not just the act itself, but the fact that the people that made this happen worked together so well. This... Uh, this partnership between the public sector NASA, the private spec sector SpaceX, uh, all the, the people, thousands of people coming together to make this possible. This is truly a historic moment. A moment that shows just a, a brief glimpse of what can happen when we work together. And goodness, isn't that something we need right now? We need moments of hope. We need to be able to see what it's like when we come together. What it's like to really build unity. You know, because it's been, these past couple of weeks have been hard for our country. Truly, the Holy Spirit is at work and working in it all. And I can't help but reflect, too, how tomorrow, as of the filming of, of this video tomorrow, June 1st, is the one-year anniversary of my priestly ordination. I remember laying on the marble floor of the cathedral in Sacramento, the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament. And just thinking to myself Lord who am I who am I to do this and every morning when I think up I still think the same thing but to be blessed with this mission in life this vocation to spread the gospel in word and in sacrament uh, has been unlike anything else I've ever experienced in my life and I'm so uh, so very grateful you know, as I prepare to celebrate one year since my ordination, I can't begin to describe the blessings that I've had over this past year. Challenges, too. Many challenges. I mean, all of you can, can think of a few, I'm sure. You know, especially with all the coronavirus stuff. You know, neither myself nor any of my classmates, you know, both uh, Father Stephen and Father Manny, who are ordained for Sacramento, but also... My classmates from in seminary, none of us could have imagined that our first year of priesthood would have been like this. And there have been challenges, but so many blessings along the way. So many blessings. 
And so I think that's, that's what I'm focusing on as I celebrate this one year anniversary. The fact that the spirit has continued to let us, that the Holy Spirit has brought all these blessings into my life and into the lives of, of so many people around me. That's, that's what I'm focusing on this first anniversary. Basically, being thankful. I'll wait for this car to pass here. Being, there we go. Being thankful for everything. All the gifts that have been bestowed upon myself, upon my confreres who are ordained with me. Uh, I really cannot put to words the, the feeling of gratitude that I have on the occasion of this first anniversary of my priestly ordination. So in, in a special way, when I celebrate Mass tomorrow, in a special way, please know that uh, my prayers remain with you all, with all those who have supported me uh, throughout the entire journey. Uh, as I celebrate Mass tomorrow, you know, I will bring all of you with me to the altar. And I ask you, please continue to pray for me, continue to pray for all priests, uh, especially as we are navigating these waters right now, figuring out how to uh, open back up with, with prudence and keeping in mind the various protocols and, and all that. It's a challenge, but, but we're so very grateful that uh, we're able to undertake this challenge and invite you all back uh, very soon. In our case, in Sacramento, June 8th, first day of public masses. Thanks be to God. Praying for you. Please pray for me. And we will see each other very soon. God bless you all.